In our previous example, we create a very simple Java file, create our static void main function, and simply printed something out to the screen. Now, let's take a quick look at some other things that we might do besides this. And we're going to see a lot of similarities in C++ as what you would find in Java. The first thing I want to show you is commenting. You'll notice the two forward slashes comments out the rest of the line of code, just like it does in C++. I can also have a multi-line comment. And just like in C where I use a forward slash, a star, and then I use a star and a forward slash to end my comment, I can put that over multiple lines or even just a part of a line if necessary. Declaring a variable is very similar in Java as it is in C++, and that's because Java is built extensively on the idea of C++. So, for example, I can specify an integer saying int x, and you'll notice that in Visual Studio Code, it's going to put a little underline underneath the x. This is simply letting me know that this variable is not being used. If I put my mouse over it, you'll notice it gives me this little warning. This will not prevent our application from running. Notice as I start to type, I have a Boolean data type. And I'll even have things like strings, just as you would expect. Here I have my initial variables. They've all been declared, but my integer x and my Boolean variable have not been set. So they're not initialized with a value at this point. So if I specify something like x equals 10, notice that now x has a value. And likewise, I can say something like is set equals false. This lets it go and have a value for those variables. However, just as what I did with my string, I can declare an initial value when I declare my variable at the same time. That way I do both a declaration and an initialization value in one fell step. I can do a system.out and print line. And then I can specify my variable s. Being able to pass a variable in is a standard thing that I do with printing. If I go and run, notice that I have here, hello world, just as I printed before, except now it's coming from a string. So that's how we use comments and declare variables inside of Java very similar to what you expect using a language like C and C++.